church. Happy Sabbath. I feel like a rapper. 
Is that not happening everywhere in the world today? How long before God will judge? Do you think this is going to go on much longer? No. Brothers and sisters, time is wrapping up. There's no time to be playing around with things today. And so, I saw the wicked buried. You hear that word wicked? Do you know what the word wicked stands for? I'm going to define it for you here as we read through this. Let's read through this. And so I saw the wicked buried, who had come and gone from the place of the holy. Do you hear that? And they were forgotten in the city where they had so done that is also vanity. How is he using the word wicked? The word wicked there, if you look at it and pay attention, is being used from former Christians. You hear it? God doesn't even call the heathen wicked. Right? God has respect to him that is on fire or that him that is cold, he says, I can use. But him that is lukewarm, what does the Bible say? Wicked. Wicked is the man who walks away. Peter talks about a dog that returneth to the vomit. Wicked. Think about, in the end, the people who are going to come against God's people. Who are the ones that are going to be able to hurt the most? The wicked, right? The ones who were amongst us. The ones who know us. The ones who love us. The ones who turned back to the vomit. Brothers and sisters, and I'm saying this, trying to, I'm not trying to be in a terrifying way. I'm trying to say that it's a slippery slope. One step. One step away so goes all of us. If you lose the focus of the Lord Jesus Christ and your focus is on anything else, somebody or even yourself or something, it's so easy to lose your way. Can I get an amen from anybody? Amen. Are you hearing it? The Lord loves us all. And Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Righteousness is by faith. There is nothing at all that you or I can do to save ourselves. Jesus is perfection. And God the Father only accepts absolute perfection. And that is only found in Jesus Christ. Amen. Peter walked on water. Why did he walk on water? Because he was focused on Jesus Christ. He was focused. Jesus says, come. He's focused and he's walking. And for a moment, for a moment, what's it take? One step? One step. For a moment, he was proud. Look back at the boys. Hey, check me out. <laughs> right? And what happens? One moment. Think about it. Imagine the feeling of walking on water. You think that's a pretty elevated thing? But the glory belongs to God. Not to Peter. Not to you. And not to I. It's so easy in the human heart to take it all to me. Right? Take it all to me. Everything belongs to Jesus Christ, brothers and sisters. If you're sacrificing, it isn't even yours that you're giving. Amen. Okay? It isn't even yours. We have nothing to give or to bring. Jesus Christ is everything. Amen. And if we lose sight of that at this time now, and I'm telling you, I have wavered. I have not been where I should. I, I, there's been times in my life I was much better than I am. I gotta get it together. I can
can remember a time that I was walking so close with the Lord that I was in a, I was in a market in Philadelphia and I was delivering a load there. Um, and this whole place was just, just, I could hear the Lord's name, just, I mean, the cussing, the going on and on and on. And I slapped my hands together. I don't know, this was the weirdest thing that happened. I slapped my hands together and I said, praise the Lord. And I swear to you, as long as I'm standing here, that for I don't know how long a time it was, but nothing moved. Everything stopped. There wasn't a sound in the place. It was like everything froze. And it's like God did something that was way out of my pay grade. And I was just in awe. And then all of a sudden, everything went back to the same. And I was just like, did anybody else? See that? You know? That was an amazing thing. But I'm telling you what, I at that time in my life, I was sold out lock, stock, and barrel, brothers and sisters. There was nothing that could move me. I want to be that man again. I need to be that man again. In this time that we're living in, we need to call people out. You know, they don't, so they don't die. I mean, I, I had a horrible dream the other night. And I had a dream that I killed a man. He came at me with a gun and was going to kill me. And I killed him. And I was with another guy that said to me, Oh, it's okay, he wanted you to kill him. Because there was something wrong with him. This is weird. Okay? But then I realized there was something wrong with this guy. And I woke up terrified. That's a weird dream. That's a nightmare. I don't wish any of that garbage on any of you. But where is our focus? Where is my focus? My dream should be better. Why should why am I having a dream like that? God doesn't desire that I should have dreams like that. Maybe it was a wake-up call. Verse 11, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Right? Mm -hmm. If you're not following God, it's fully set on you to do evil. Right? <coughs> because God does not settle his accounts every Friday. Right? Mm -hmm. Some people feel like he never will settle his accounts. Mm -hmm. But for the one who is walking close to God and his focus is on Jesus, God's patience is what breaks your heart. <coughs> do you see? Because you realize that the reason he is so patient and he hasn't come and judged is because he loves and he wants to save everybody. You, you, you know the old expression, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink? God has led us all to the water. But some refuse to drink. The water of life that God freely gives. Those, though a, a sinner do an, e, an evil a hundred times, and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear God, which fear before him. Amen? What kind of fear are we talking about here? An awe, right? A reference to God, our Father. Let's turn to Romans 3 and 21. Romans 3 and 21. While you're turning there, I want to read you something from Steps to Christ, okay? While the work of the Spirit is silent 
and imperceptible. Its effects are manifest. If the heart has been renewed by the Spirit of God, the life will bear witness to the fact. While we cannot do anything to change our hearts or to bring ourselves into harmony with God, while we must not trust at all to ourselves or our good works, our lives will reveal whether the grace of God is dwelling within us. A change will be seen in the character, the habits, the pursuits. The contrast will be clear and decided between what they have been and what they are. The character is revealed not by occasional good deeds, and occasional misdeeds, but by the tendency of a habitual words and acts. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? Romans 3 and 21. Do you have a heading above this? I do. Mine says, Righteousness provided in Christ. Amen? But now the righteousness of God without the law is manifest, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. Even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ, unto all and upon all them that believe, for there is no difference. What does it really mean to believe? Doesn't the Bible say that the devils believe? shudder. So what does it really mean to believe? And I'm more than willing for somebody to speak. We have plenty of mics. The mic man back there, he's got plenty. Would you like to speak? I would love to hear you say something. Oh, uh, I got a mic. Okay. <laughs> I love you, Pastor. <laughs> But I, I want to discuss this a little bit. I, I, want to, I want to hear from other people. Because the Bible says believe. And so many people say, well, I believe. I believe in Jesus. And I live like a devil. Right? How many people? No. You got a turning on number. Give him the number, Ricky. Number four. Go ahead. To believe... You've got to know, know who you believe in. You can't just say, oh, I believe in Jesus. You've got to have an intimate relationship with who you believe in. you got to know your God. And the only way you can know your God is to experience Him. And experience Him, not just coming to church on Sabbath, but experience Him every day in your life. You read your Bible. You don't just read your Bible, you... You, you experience your Bible. You, you, you allow Him to make the changes in your heart that need to be made. And like, like you said earlier, we can't change ourselves. We've got to allow Him to make changes. <clears throat> without, without Him, there's no hope. Amen. Sister Deborah? Well, if I told you that uh, there was a storm last night and the roof is falling down, and I said that right now, the roof is falling down. If you believed me, you get up and you leave. And uh, when we believe something, we do something about it. If we really believe it, we'll do something about it. And so uh, it's a mighty thin pancake that doesn't have two sides. And one side is faith, and the other side is works. Anybody else? Yes, brother. Bring Ken and Mike, if you would, please. Donovan has one right there. Donovan, would you pass it back? Just push the bottom. And the number? Two. 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 The evidence of proper faith is a changed life. Amen. 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 Mm. Anybody else? Would anybody else like to comment on belief? Yes, Ms. Buffy. I believe, but God help my unbelief. Mm. Well said. Anybody else? I like the word be live. Yeah. Be live. I think that says it. Yes, brother. I think it has a lot to do with uh, closely related with confidence. 
you know, if I believe that you can do something, I have confidence in you that you can do it. Uh, I give people a lot of leeway, and most of the time, uh, for me to not believe that a person can do something is for them to prove that they can't. And God has said that his gift is a gift to us. And a lot of people understand that Jesus has set out uh, guidance, you can call it rules, you can call it laws, and they'll follow them. And it's a shame because they're working because they don't really believe that Jesus can have a gift for us, a free gift of salvation. And all we have to do is accept it. So I have confidence that what Jesus has said is true. Amen. Anybody else? Yes. Yeah. Yes, Elder. Uh, for me, believe, you know, is to, to practice. Because if I read the Bible and I don't do nothing, I can't grow. Yeah. Right? So that's for me. You know, you have to practice for you to grow and believe in it each and every day. Exercise your faith. Yes. Ever. Yeah, you. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that's a real God can do for man what man cannot do for himself. That's God's job. Amen. Amen. And it steps to Christ, the, the, I think it's chapter 6, Faith and Acceptance, in page 51, she says, Do not wait to feel you are made whole, but say, I believe it. Not because you feel it, but because God has promised. Amen. 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 And because of what Ricky said, I want to say man's job. And it's in John 6 and 28, but I want you guys to stay in your finger in Romans because I'm going back there. <laughs> then said the unto him, what shall we do that we might work the works of God? Jesus answered and said unto them, this is the work of God, that you believe on him whom he hath sent. That you believe on him whom he hath sent. There is a lot to do with believing. If you don't believe you can do something, how in the world would you ever do it? You can believe that you can do something and other people say, ah, you can't do that. And it's up to you to continue to believe or to believe them. Right? I, I'm still a rascal, I'll tell you. I've, I've got some real problems. I, I mean, I was driving in the rain and... Friday morning, it's raining hard, and, and most people are lined up to get on 95 like they should be, but there's always a few, right? One guy's in a straight job truck, and it's raining hard, and people are, I mean, there's like no room for people to get in. They know, get in line, but no, you can't do that. You gotta wait to the last minute and then just ram somebody over, right? And it just happens to be and this is why I'm saying I have a problem. Because this guy did it to the person in front of me, which in all the time this was happening, I knew it was, I, I was going to happen before he knew who he was going to do it to. And I thought to myself, boy, I wish it was me. <laughs> I wish it 